Johan Sawyer again, your friendly local constitutional coop from California. And we're going to talk about several related uh, subject matters in this video. The issues are all the same. It's astounding. And they include, among other things, evictions, mortgage foreclosures, bankruptcy, and just about every other imaginable thing you can think of when you get into any of their courts, quote unquote, eight, aka administrative tribunals. And the big deal about this is whoever it is on the other side, especially if it's in any official actors, for example, from Sapper Tomato, uh, when they get in there and they don't tell you and, uh, and they have burden of proof or jurisdiction and venue, full disclosure of all this information should be made. Better yet, you should have been taught it in the mandatory public education system. Eight. So you know what's going on. Because all you have is agents one way or another of uh, what I call a juice solely foreign state. In other words, you're born in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof, 14th Amendment BS. That's not the way it works, and yet that's the only body politic they recognize across the board. On the other hand, we, all of the victims of the system, go in there, and we're just sanguineous state citizens, citizens by blood, or we're inhabitants of states, or even inhabitants of territories, the latter of whom have the right, believe it or not, and you might not in today's age, the right to trial by jury according to the course of the common law and or habeas corpus, both of which have disappeared like a fart in the wind. And I'll talk more about that in other videos, especially with my Iowa case, where it's so bad now that a jerk or a clerk of court there uh, changed my clearly labeled uh, non-statutory federal writ of habeas corpus, page one and converted it to 28 U.S.C. 2254, not only a B.S. statute, but it goes back to the War Act of the 39th Congress. And that's because we've been in a state of war, or at least, uh, well, we're war or rebellion, whatever you want to call it, for 160 years now, and the writ's been suspended Despite the fact that Article 1, Section 9, Clause 2, which so far as I know hasn't been amended or repealed, says the writ can't be suspended except in declared states of rebellion or invasion. And even the latest version of your state constitution it says the same thing, but the words have no meaning. We need to get them back. You know, both of those things, right to trial by jury, and that's an educated jury that has the power to rule on the facts and the law. That goes back to Magna Carta in 1215. The framers were well aware of it back in the day in 1776. <clears throat> and everything was, in theory at least, cast in concrete in the Constitution and in the constitutions of sovereign independent states admitted into this Union. Where has it gone? An interesting story you'll learn more about. Send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com. The big deal today, as you will learn, is we can prove, and I can do it with personalized, relevant, and admissible evidence here in California, with all capital letters, that the state of California doesn't exist. We're in the territory of California. And that's true no matter where you are across the country. All what look like 48 different states are all federal insular territorial possessions. But we have justices on the current Supreme Court that know what the hell I'm talking about here. And we get those issues into them. And especially now, because we're not taking any new more cases for the remaining term. There's about six weeks left anyway. We're going to put them on for the next term. <clears throat> And that's great. Uh, initially, it doesn't sound like much. <clears throat> but what we will be asking them to do <clears throat> is, okay, do that. But you order all the local courts and local actors to stand down. 
until you make a decision here in the next term after the election. Eight. And they can go full speed because once that's settled <clears throat> and Trump gets in there, you know, they know they're going to get two younger Republicans when Alito and Thomas retire. So they can now almost hit the full speed button, you know, on the process and start telling the American people the real story. And I'm convinced that most of them know this. And guys, I wish in that case you'd get, get the word out to the American people even now as best you can and let them know that you're on our side here. And that's something I've been doing this a long time and I haven't seen anything like this uh, since the last four terms where there have been what I call an all-out assault on the administrative state. So learn more, send me an email, court at gmail.com and I'll get information no matter what the situation is. And by the way, this applies particularly to the child procurement syndicate where they can just come and take your kids for any reason or no reason and it raises the question, who the hell's kids are they and why? My goodness, you give birth to the kid and, and you're the parents and you don't have any authority over them? When, why, and how the hell did that happen? To learn more, send me an email, court at gmail.com. Believe it or not, there are quote-unquote answers, as it were, to all of that, but none of it stands up to the original intent of those racist framers. And that's how we start beating these administrative agencies to a pulp. And the Supreme Court's been doing that the last four terms, in particular case you want to look at. And on request for information, I'll send you this one. It's kind of highlighted here. It's called Action the Federal Trade Commission decided last May. And they really unloaded. Uh, the key to it, as you'll learn, though, the opinion of the court is not by Elena Kagan. <laughs> that was a deal they cut with the liberals we'll talk more about later. But the real opinion, everyone on this court knows it, are the concurrences of Thomas and uh, Alito. And you read those, it can't be any clearer. And right now, today, we're awaiting them to make an uh, announce their decision in a case called SEC v. Sarkeesian out of the Fifth Circuit in Texas. And they had no reason to let the SEC come there, except this time they're going to make a much stronger statement and Thomas or Alito or maybe Gorsuch will write the opinion about the administrative state. It's all going to sound very familiar to you because that's what you've been subjected to your entire life here. No judicial courts anywhere in sight. No trial by jury. No nothing. All you have in there is state bar association attorneys. Some of them wearing black robes in a privileged capacity. And you show up. And they won't listen to you or you're a pesky pro se litigant with these bullshit sovereign citizen arguments. Won't listen to you. None of their attorneys will raise the issues, despite the fact, as you'll learn, when I say there are no states, I have an 83 page unopposed legal brief on that subject. How can we be wrong? And yet no attorneys will do it. You'll learn exactly why. So, I mean, Email you went in court at gmail.com and we'll talk about that and the options we do have. And even today, you do things the right way. Uh, you know, a lot of times things get thrown out in the trial court because they can't roll the dice now. We have the loaded ones and we're supposed to have them. But that's the problem. Most people don't know how to do it. You don't get taught a damn thing in today's mandatory public education system. And Picked up all this transgender crap and now abro sexuality where you don't know what the hell you are from day to day. These are all civil rights. Yet we can prove, and I can do it a cappella off the top of my head, the 14th Amendment not only doesn't exist, it never did. It was ruled contemporaneously unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court. <clears throat> and there's a lot more that goes along with that, too. And these justices on the court, I'm convinced, know it. I don't know how that happened, but I'm very thankful for the fact that now, the first time in 90 years, maybe longer, the Supreme Court is acting like a judicial court. And that's a big reason that our salvation seems to be close at hand as we get Trump back in there, which looks like almost a certainty, unless the Chinese can really figure out how to screw it up this time. 
They get two younger justices on there to replace Lito and Thomas, and we're good for the next 12 to 15 years. Now what the hell are they going to do? So it's exciting, and here I am, I'll be 76 later this year. Life is still ahead of me because of this. It's what I was put here to do all those years ago. I just would love to have learned it when I was in school outside of Washington, D.C. Didn't hear a thing about what I'm talking about here or any of my videos. Nothing. Damn it. And in that location, you would think. But not a thing. Better education in many ways, by the way, but not in this area. And that's what I want to teach you so you'll know. And you can teach your children and they can teach their children and your posterity to do the same thing. You know, that's the best way to keep the public get educated about it and know what's going on. So to learn more, send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com, and we'll get started with whatever your case is. You're going to be amazed when you see what they're really doing and what we can prove in black and white. And by the way, we, and when they go in there, by the way, to their court, quote unquote, they have burden of proof on jurisdiction and then you, you never see it. And with a neutral magistrate that we're also supposed to have, that should get your case thrown out of there summarily with prejudice to the cause. And even when we come in there, and when I say new states, I've got an 83 page unopposed brief on that subject. When I say no 14th Amendment, I think my brief is about 35 pages unopposed. That should result in getting your case dismissed. Only it rarely, if ever, does because the system is so corrupt. But we set these unopposed records in the trial court. This is the key to success. And you'll learn more about that in the process. But that said, send me an email, humanincourt at gmail.com, and you'll see why I'm so excited, you know, and keen on the work I do with what I was put here to do. And I wish I had known it, like I say, 60 odd years ago. I'd be much further down the road, but better late than never. And we can all get there and stop all this nonsense. You know, I'm convinced we have a Supreme Court that knows quite a bit about what I've been talking about here. So that said, send me an email, humanincourt at gmail.com. And remember to subscribe, tell your friends, like the videos, get the word out. The sooner we take effective action, the sooner we get our nation and republic back. Thank you.